So we've spoken about how to launch a business. Now I'd like to talk about how to run a business successfully, especially when it comes to numbers. From your experience as a chef, you spent a considerable, a considerable amount of time in the back of house, preparing food, preparing ingredients, ordering ingredients, managing your inventory, your stock, testing recipes. I'd like for you to tell me about a time where you had high food costs and what did you do to fix that? Or food waste and what did you do to fix that? All right. So, so basically, it's something I touched on a while ago, um, uh, briefly. So you're asking me, what makes your restaurant successful? Because obviously a lot of waste harms your business, right? I think what I would say is creating systems in hand, okay, that makes your business successful. So in the post-launch, when you create the systems, you need to do your weekly, uh, bi-weekly, and your monthly reports in order to monitor your sales, uh, in order to monitor your costs, and in order to monitor your uh, uh, what whatever you have to pay, your overheads, and uh, and, all, and you have to monitor your cash flow as well, and all that. With with all that said, it's extremely important. This is part where I truly believe that technology on that level is a blessing. You know, it's like when you are using systems and points of sales where it makes your life easy while doing uh, inputting data and uh, really it elevated the level of efficiency towards uh, towards knowing where your problem is because the systems that are in hand these days really pulls out the red flag immediately. You have a problem of waste man, uh, waste on this level. So you, you don't pull the trigger immediately, you take this report and then you consult with the chef and see what's the problem with that. And you will understand that probably the chef has decided this week in order to, to jockey this product between two items uh, uh, that are using the same product on the menu. And then it created a high level of uh, waste because the yield of this product, and this is why I told you I don't want to go into the details of it because it is extremely technical because when you when you use a brisket, for example, if you're working in a, in a smokehouse, right? So trimming of the brisket, so we take, you take the brisket, for example, and then you weigh it as exactly the way you it's handed over to you from the supplier. When you weigh it, even with a plastic bag, you weigh it, you throw the plastic bag, you trim it, and there's a waste of uh, five to seven percent of its weight. All right. After you wait, and you have to record that, right? And then after you cook it, because briskets take a long, uh, a long time to uh, cook. We call this process a low and slow, and it takes between 12 to 14 to 16 hours, depends on the internal temperature of the brisket, and then you will end up with a yield between 35% and 40% of its original weight. Can you imagine? You have lost 70% of its weight of the product, and that, that, that the supplier charges you, right? Now, what are the demographics? What do I need to do? All right. When you trim, for example, and I was throwing this example just to tell you when the chef was trying to jockey uh, uh, two items uh, that he's using on two items, maybe he over trimmed the stuff. All right. Then you come and give him direction and then you cor correct this error on the uh, on the platform or the technology uh, uh, system that you're using, the point of sales, uh, and then uh, you address it. Uh, these are the points where you are able to create a more controlled environment when it comes to the uh, to the food costs and 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 the waste management uh, and uh, all these uh, same matter related item there are items that you goes for spoilage and and the waste management there is a very impressive restaurant back in brighton uh, london it's called silo uh, uh, the guy is uh, is amazing. I mean, towards I could say he's nuts because he, he he doesn't have he works from zero bin policy. He doesn't have a bin. Do you know how much trash there is out from restaurants? Extremely big. The number is even is, is, is absurd. So 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 zero zero waste policy. He even had the compost unit in his restaurant in order to recycle, and 
And, and this is extremely important in our days because you have to, to understand that to, in order to create a sustainable, it cannot be 100%. It will never be 100%. Uh, you, can, you can ban plastic but, uh, 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 from grocery stores, but if you walk two meters towards the shelf, the gnocchi bag a box is covered with plastic. The salad bowl is covered with plas plastic. You know, so it's extremely, extremely challenging in, in 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 our in our environment. But it's a must for each and every chef as a responsibility to know how to jockey and to use the uh, product in different ways in order to minimize the waste.